I'm tired of y'all complaining that all men don't know how to treat y'all. I'm here to speak on behalf of all the real gentlemen in this building. When I say don't give up hope so easily, it's still gentlemen out there that will bring you flowers, open car doors for you, and put you on a pedestal so the world can see how beautiful you are. They're pallbearers. <laughs> You'll meet one one day, I swear to God, just keep on living. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Your mom gonna be there, your friends, your hair gonna be done. He's gonna pick you up and take you out that bad situation onto a better place. It's gonna be beautiful. I don't speak proper English until I get in front of white people. That's when I start to enunciate. I even say silent letters in words, like letters you don't supposed to say. Like the other day, I'm at the restaurant speaking proper English, like, uh, Jill, can I get another receipt? <laughs> yeah, I need a receipt for me and a receipt for her. Yeah, I'm trying to go Dutch. I seen a young mom discipline her child. This was funny to me. I was at the store, Ralph's, music blasting, juice aisle. Little girl walk out in the middle of the aisle and start moving her body like this, making grown woman faces. I know her mama saw her and snatched up like, I'm so embarrassed. What I told you about dancing like that? You're supposed to put one leg up in the air and drop it to the floor. This ain't no game. What's wrong with you? You act like I ain't raised you right. You act like you ain't got no home training. I can't believe you're gonna stand here and get that nice man that weak dance. <laughs> and I ain't know what to say. I was like, yeah, that dance was kind of weak. <laughs> I just gave her a dollar and was like, hey, this is for future stripper pole classes. <laughs> I'm glad our sport figures are not, you know, in the news like they was like last year in the past couple of years. Especially like with Vic, when all this stuff happened, I seen that, I was like, man, you know, it was times like that, I wish Johnny Cochran was still alive. Cause he could have got Vic off. He would have pinned all them dog murders on OJ. For real, Cochran, he was just that good. I can see him in court right now giving his argument, your honor, my client couldn't possibly execute all them dogs. He's not an executioner. He can't even execute plays for a whole game. If the collar don't fit, you must have quit.